Welcome to Gas Up the Pacer. I'm Armando. That's Lou. And in this video, we're going to be talking about your Cleveland Browns. Because the only reason you should be watching this video is if you're a Browns fan and you searched and you found Browns <laughs> stuff. If you're not a Browns fan, you just came here to obviously laugh. So that's cool, too. <laughs> If you want to follow Lou or I on Twitter, you can follow me at Junior D's. You can follow Lou at Sweet Lou 3434. Mm. Let's get off and running because we've been doing this uh, here for the last few weeks, breaking down some teams, some teams that either have surprised us or it's about the same as we expected. Um, we've been getting hammered by fans of different teams since the beginning of the season. So I figured, why not? Poke the Browns fans a little bit. <laughs> and let's talk about their team. Because we've been talking about fake good teams, real good teams. The Browns right now are in third place. They're at four and two. Which, I'll just, I'll give the AFC North this. Your third place team is four and two. That's, <laughs> okay. that's, that, that's not, a, that, I'm just saying, record-wise, you're only as good as your record is. And the AFC North, record-wise, is one of the better divisions in the NFL this year. It should be, because if you look at strength of schedule, Baltimore's is easiest at 32, Pittsburgh's 31. Since Cle Cincinnati came in at 28, Cleveland came in at 26. They all should have a good record. Yes. But this team here is trash. Pure Straight up. Pure dumpster fire trash. They, they padded their stats against Cincinnati, Washington, <laughs> Dallas. Two bad picks by <sighs> Phillip Rivers, so they beat Indy. But the two really good teams they played, 76 to 13. That's yeah. how bad they got beat. 76 yes, sir. to 13. Yes, they, sir. Quarterback got knocked out. They, they took him out. The, uh, maintenance issues. Maintenance issues. <laughs> yeah, his right arm. His right arm and his brain. <laughs> Maintenance issues, you're right. You got receivers on the sideline arguing with everybody again. They Pittsburgh sent them right back to being the same old Browns. And well, now no turn around and lose to Cincinnati. Here's, and if they here's, do, they this season's over for them. Yeah. Well, here's here's the issue that with, with the Browns. They're A, they're they're the Browns. So the fans, A, the fans don't expect much, which I think rubs off on the organization. If the fans don't expect much, the organization is like, well, we could kind of do whatever the hell we want. We can get a team that looks good. They basically just put, like, literally, this team on paper, if you go through their, their roster, I mean, even with losing Chubb, you still have Kareem Hunt in that lineup. Yeah. You still have Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry. And even I like Higgins a lot. But you have Austin Hooper. At your at your yeah, tight Joku. end, you yeah you you paid Austin Hooper what ten million dollars to come in, yeah, and he's he's just an expensive paperweight right now, okay. This team on paper and even on the defensive side of the ball. Now the defensive side of the ball, you got a lot of injuries, but and and I don't mind their defense. Their defense is actually playing pretty well this season. But when you look at this team on paper, everything looks so good until you get to the quarterback position and we've been saying it since baker mayfield got in the league we didn't like him when he came into the league we didn't like you know i'm not gonna wish ill shit on anybody but this dude just brings it on himself we don't have to wish anything yeah but i don't even think i mean we would disagree a little bit because i don't think their defense has been playing great 30 20 38 23 38 38 is what they've given up yeah, it's not. That's not very good. That's no. But some of that is because Baker. A lot of that is because Baker's putting them in bad positions, turning the ball over. You well, know, that's... I had I had people over Sunday, Brown Steelers fans, all that. And oh, if we had Nick Chubb, it'd be a totally different story. Also, he was going to score thirty two points, and y'all was going to win 30, <laughs> 39 to thirty eight. <laughs> that shit. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, what happened to three weeks ago? <laughs> Four weeks ago, when Kareem Hunt was the the second best back in the league, according to all yeah. you guys, now well, you're bellowing on him. And and here's the thing, dude, because I I I dove into this. Okay, I 
got all my printouts. Like I chopped down half a damn forest, right? Looking, <laughs> looking into the Browns. And I started finding some things and I was like, oh, okay, well, the Browns look better on paper than I thought they would because I pulled up total team offense. The Browns are at number eight. Okay, cool. Um, I'm looking at the team uh, red zone scoring, like touchdown percentage in the red zone. And they're at number six. I was like, well, hell, this looks a lot better than I've seen them play. And then I looked at scoring offense. Well, the only thing the red zone scoring percentages give you is the percentage of touchdowns that you score once you get to the red zone. (laughs) Of course. But they are number 30. They rank 30th in scoring (laughs) offense in the league. Mm. You got to get there to score. Yeah. So if you're not, I mean, if you're, you know, four of four of, you know, five, it it doesn't look too bad on paper, but you only got there five times. Everybody else is in, is in the red zone, you know, 20, 30 times (laughs) by that point. So, I mean, they're, 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 oh, they ahead. have a lot. They, no, they have a lot of issues, and they're 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 21st in conversions, like third down conversions. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was going to bring up because Sunday they went one for 15 on third and fourth down. They they're only 39.2 percent on third down this season. That's a problem. Now yes. we t- we talked about the Titans, and you know how you know we like the Titans, and, and they play a good brand of football, that punch in the face kind of football. And there were some things that, you know, they need to shore up on defense and yada, yada. The one thing that I've seen with the Brown, like, there's so many things that they need to shore up. You can't be not successful on third down. No. And, and I'll and, say and be And be a winning football team who's going to go anywhere in the playoffs. And I'll say it again. Sunday against the Steelers, they went one for 15 on third and fourth down. And yep. three or four of those were third and one or fourth and one, and yep. they got none of them. Yeah, and and honestly, in a passing league, I mean, we we talk about this all the time, and I know we we probably take too many pot shots at, at Baker, but no, um, <laughs> I know you don't think so, but this is a passing league. They say it all the time. the The Browns rank twenty yeah. sixth in passing offense. That's not good. Now, no. you have the number one rushing offense, but just like when we talked about with Tennessee, when you have that good of a rushing offense, your passing offense should be up there too. It, it should, should be, be it should at least be in the top half of the league. Because he's not the thing is, they're running against heavy boxes, eight man boxes, seven, eight man boxes. So He's not he's not throwing against dime defenses, yeah. nickel defenses where you got five and six DBs in the game. He's throwing against your two corners and two safeties, and a linebacker guarding his tight end and he can't get it done. His, there's this article where they say he and Kirk Cousins are they they're the leaders of, of five high, high high profile players that are becoming liabilities. So how I mean what the, the clock is ticking. Because yeah. offensively, as much uh oh, we got a, we got something playing here. Hold on, <laughs> as, as much as much as we get on him, they have a ton of offensive talent. Oh, uh, they have they have a pocket full of talent, and he just can't get it done. Yeah, I mean, he. Oh my god! Oh, these stats are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> when teams blitz him, he has a 23.6 passer rating. Yes. Baker Baker only does well. Listen, Baker will be a decent backup for the rest of his career. He's just not a starting quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. It's 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 either that, because because that's a, a thing, or it could be a Ryan Tannehill situation where he could be good if he gets the right coaching staff around him. The problem is with the Browns organization, they haven't been able, and and I haven't seen enough out of the coaching staff because they it's like a turnstile up there. I haven't seen but enough Stefanski out of this. Stefanski can coach. Yeah, like, no, Stefanski can coach. Yeah. So 
I, I was thinking this year would would be kind of like Baker's make or break year, but I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's just. I just think that Baker doesn't. I don't think Baker cares. I'll I think he just what, wants. Man. I think he wants to just go out there and be Michael Vick. I don't want to watch film. I don't want to from early in Vick's career. Like I think I can do it. The problem is Michael Vick was a really good quarterback athlete. and a and a great athlete. Yeah. And he can get away with doing a lot of those things because of his natural talent. Yeah, he was out there out athleting people. Ba- Baker doesn't have the flak jacket on. That's a that's a spare tire, bro. <laughs> He's not an athlete. But <laughs> they have to win this game this week against Cincinnati, in which we both picked them to lose on our other show. Yes. Because if not, they will lose to Las Vegas the week after that. Yep. And they'll go into their bye week four and four after starting four and one. Yep. Out of that bye and, week. And it doesn't. A, they get a Houston team that's <laughs> going to put points up on their defense like you won't believe. Can yep. Baker keep up? Well, then the answer get, is then no. Then you get Philly and Jacksonville, but then Tennessee, Baltimore, back to back, two yep. more losses. Dude, they even have, the even the Giants, man. I think the Giants don't don't underestimate the Giants. It, it'll be Philadelphia that trips them up. <laughs> it'll be Philadelphia that trips them up I just because Philadelphia's run left. defense. Philadelphia's run defense is good. Yeah, and Cleveland wants to run the ball. Yeah, and, and then, then you just, play, and then you get Pittsburgh at the end of the season. Here. Hey, they get the Jets, so we know they will win one more game. Yes. Yes, they will. They'll look and really good two days after Christmas. <laughs> two days after Christmas <laughs> in, New, in New York. That'll be the, the Browns fans' Christmas present. But, yeah, four, four. and two, the Browns are fit good. Very much so. I, I just I don't, I don't think they're, they're very good. I think it's a damn shame, and we've said it in the past a million times, it's a damn shame because, man, I really like the NFL when the Browns are good. I know you think otherwise because you're a Steelers fan. But... No, I, I actually agree with you. But the problem I have with them is they're they're bad. I still, you know what their fans started doing Sunday to me? Well, y'all gonna lose next week? No, okay. We kicking y'all's ass today though. Yeah. Now all y'all want to go be Titans fans. That is the problem I have with Cleveland fans. Yes. Y'all, as long as Pittsburgh lose, as long as Pittsburgh, we ain't losing a day, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't losing a day. Now they no, all want to I- go be Titans fans. And, and then they even root. Let me, tell, let me tell you about this fan base. They will root for the Ravens to beat the Steelers. The Ravens took your team, lit, went to Baltimore, won two Super Bowls. You can't keep a coach three years in a row. Yeah. But you'd rather see them win. Is the hate that strong? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. This team's a dumpster fire. This team they is went a dumpster back to fire. Arguing with each other, man. No, I think honestly, honestly, if if they, man, if they if they draft a quarterback that's worth a shit, and it has a good attitude. Like I'd almost, if I'm Cleveland, bring in or draft a quarterback that just has a good attitude. And it's kind of a, a, a an okay to good quarterback. I'd bring that guy in, ship Baker out, and I guarantee you this team turns around. Guaranteed. You know who will be good in Cleveland with all the talent they got? Fitzpatrick. But he's yeah. but he's coaching Tua now. Yeah. But Fitzpatrick would have did great with this team. Yeah, I think so. But, but he's got a coaching job. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, he does. He's got a coaching job. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, do you have anything else for the Browns? Yeah, see, at the end of the year, when the game don't mean anything to us, so we might let y'all win that one. All right, cool. <laughs> well, for Lou. <laughs> hey, but, but God forbid if we plan for a playoff spot, whoo, or seeding, ooh, another yeah. whooping coming. <laughs> right over the knee. Ooh, mm, call me daddy. Mm, that's what they're going to tell them. Call me daddy. Yeah. Oh, well, with that said, for Lou. <laughs> I'm Armando. This is Gas Up the Pacer. And this was apparently the bag on the Cleveland Brown show. We'll see you guys. Get, get, get.